Hello and welcome to prof.manishnayar where you would definitely find a lot of value in terms of interview skills career skills professional skills what else do you need when it comes to your beginning your start your embarkment towards your first job and maybe career at large now there are many a times question being asked that what is the standard format of resume and what is that a student should follow a job aspirant should follow there can be n number of formats which are available online but the best thing is one that you are able to protect everything what is written in the resume that you are possibly able to argue it out so here what is we are now trying to lay down to all of you all those job aspirants and specific students and candidates opting for a job or for an interview i think needs to understand essentially that there is a standard few rules not those rules which are universal i'm going to put it across for you all to access this so six universal rules for resume writing with video of course that goes for a video resume also let's begin for busy hiring managers your resume provides a snapshot of your career and is often the determining factor in whether you land an interview if a job search is a journey a stellar resume is your passport the fundamental principles of resume writing have remained constant for generations but evolving technologies mean more aspects of the application and hiring processes take place online than even ever before by staying up to date with current best practices you are better able to put your resume to work for you in this particular shoot we'll discuss six universal rules to keep in mind as you create or update your resume cover all the basics first second explore other resumes for inspiration number third use as few words as possible number fourth quantify your accomplishments whenever possible number fifth use keywords that employers are using in their job descriptions most important for me proofread several times to catch typo errors and misspellings number 6 so if you are interested in professional and personalized resume feedback learn more about videos that i have already uploaded in terms of templates and the nitigrities of those typical format resume format let's see as to how to write a resume note that you can apply these rules to any resume format but because of how various software read your resume a simple one column format with a professional font may serve you the best i'm allowing a template for you all as a standard template to look at or maybe for the reference for you all now first thing first is cover all the basics the goal of a resume is to best represent your relevant skills and accomplishments and there are several ways to do that successfully that said every resume requires these basic elements first relevant educational degrees or certifications and or licenses that you have or gotten certified with the importance of your educational background will vary based on the job or industry you are interested in if you have many educational credentials you only need to include the ones that are most relevant to the job description relevant work and volunteer experiences most people choose to list their experience starting with their most recent job don't include everything you did in your past jobs instead focus on achievements over responsibilities contact information your full name address with pin code and then the city that you are in along with email id and the proper one and the contact number should go as the first line because this personal information is sensitive 
you should be cautious about who you share your resume with now relevant skills and your level of mastery for example conversational english or familiar with microsoft excel versus fluent in english or expert at microsoft excel it's important to note that the basics of the resume often do not include references it's a best practice to leave these off your resume this helps you save space and also preserves the privacy of your professional contacts now explore other resumes for inspiration number 2 it can be useful to see how other people have written about their skills and experiences we have hundreds of resume samples that you can possibly see online to explore choose the job category and title that's relevant to you and see samples from people with different amounts of experience this is a great way to uncover stronger ways to describe your credentials and to avoid overused words you can also get a sense of the internal language used within a particular industry or company you might have experience that isn't directly related but is still highly relevant to the position you are applying for and you want to include it in your resume someone else's resume might feature a similar history and offer an example of how to frame this experience in a compelling way third use as few words as possible employers need to quickly understand your work experience format your experience as a list of short scannable statements rather than writing out dense paragraphs for example too wordy applied expert budget management skills to achieve a 20% reduction in departmental expenses through diligent research identifying significant inefficiencies could be a better option more concise achieved 20% departmental cost savings by eliminating inefficiencies should be your replaced version now the typical resume is two pages maximum so make sure all the information you have included is essential if you can't decide what is essential ask yourself what you are including is relevant to what the employer is asking for in the job description it is also important to consider the kind of work you truly want to be hired to do in other words don't include past experience for tasks you strongly dislike doing keep the experiences that you want to keep building on and match what the employer is looking for this meets the definition of essential information to include on your resume number 4 quantify your accomplishments whenever possible numbers of data bring your work experience to life and help hiring managers envision the potential impact you could have in their organization when you can back up your achievements with real data to boost your credibility and add informative detail to your resume for example quantified improve lead generation through strategic content marketing initiatives instead quantified would be achieved 180% year over year lead growth through strategic content marketing initiatives number 5 use keywords that employers are using in their job descriptions hiring managers want to see that you can speak their language and know the language that's commonly used in their industry when they see their own keywords mirrored back to them in your resume it reinforces the idea that you are strong candidate for the role and if your resume will be posted to an online database like let's say indeed careers charisma then there are plenty like nokri.com shine monster india jobs for job freshers job they are all working on the same algorithms the right keywords are 
critical to getting found by employers. One way to become familiar with the different keywords is to experiment with different search terms on maybe indeed.com. Carefully read the job postings that interest you and take note of the terms and phrases that employers are including there. You may begin to notice commonalities and can include some of these words or concepts in your resume if they are applicable to your background. Sixth, proofread several times to catch typo errors and misspellings. Unfortunately, a single typographical or spelling error is sometimes enough to get your resume discarded early in the process. Proofread your resume multiple times doing a thorough line-by-line, -line, word by word edit. Reading content backward, awkward and time-consuming, though it may be, is a great way to catch minor mistakes that you might otherwise miss. Getting an outside perspective is always a good idea. Ask a friend, mentor or family member to review your resume for you before you begin submitting it to the employers. A strong resume can streamline your job search process, helping you showcase your strengths and get one step closer to your dream job. With some diligent work upfront and by adhering to these six rules, you can turn this fundamental job search document into one of your strongest professional assets. I think this could be enough as a hint, as a broad, broader outline for you all to take and help and form your own course of a standard, universal, accepted format of a resume. I hope you're going to do that. Best wishes and thank you.